All right, in this lesson, we will be learning how to solve special right triangles, but not just any special right triangles, special right triangle combos. Each and every problem involves uh, two special right triangles that are sort of stuck together, so you have to solve two problems in a row to get the right answer. When we talk about our special right triangles, we're talking about 30, 60, 90 right triangles, and 45, 45, 90 right triangles. And uh, hold on, let me move this down just a tad. And this is the pattern that you have to memorize. For a 30, 60, 90 triangle, it goes, um, the legs are x, x radical 3, and the hypotenuse is 2x. Um, f for the 30, 60, 90 triangle, it's all about the short leg. We have a short leg and a long leg. The short leg is always going to be across from the 30 degree angle. Okay? The long leg is going to always be across from the 60 degree angle. But it is all, all, all about um, the short leg. Okay? Because if you take the short leg and double it, then you get the hypotenuse. If you take the short leg and put a radical 3 on it, then you have the long leg. All right? Um, a 45, 45, 90 triangle is simpler. It's an isosceles triangle. So the two legs are going to be equal to each other. And then the hop hypotenuse will be x radical 2. So this might be 5, 5, 5 radical 2, or 7, 7, 7 radical 2. Okay, so that's what we, we mean by special right triangles. And now let's see how we solve them. Okay, um, for problem number one, or in really all of these problems, we're given one side. Focus on that. Now, remember the pattern. So we're dealing with a 45, 45, 90 triangle. It goes x, x, x radical 2. So um, looking at this triangle right here, the idea would be, Hold on. The idea would be x, x, and x radical 2 would go right here. Now this x and these x's are different. In fact, um, I should probably, since there's already an x here, let's use a different variable, like n. So this would be n, n, and n radical 2. Okay? Now the key is to focus your eyes on um, the one where there's a number there. Make a little equation out of it and solve it. So the way I would solve this is by dividing both sides by radical 2. Okay? Um, so that's going to give me n equals. Now what's 10 divided by radical 2? Okay, 10 divided by radical 2 is 5 radical 2, okay? Now, um, just for the record, if you wanted to be able to solve that um, without a calculator, here's how you would do it. If I have 10 over radical 2, what I could do is I could multiply this denominator by itself, multiply by radical 2. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but when you multiply a radical by itself, the number comes out, all right? Radical 2 times radical 2 is 2. Now, you're only allowed to do that if you do the, uh, if you multiply the numerator and denominator by the same thing, all right? That way, we're really just multiplying by 1. Anyway, so 10 times radical 2 is just 10 radical 2. But then, what happens is, um, the the 2 divides into the 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. That's why the final answer um, is 5 radical 2. Okay, so if you can do that on your own, that's great. But um, I'm going to be using my calculator a lot. So I just found that n was 5 radical 2. That's these guys. So that means that these guys are 5 radical 2. Alright, so I've got 5 well, it's a horrible 5. Let me try that again. 5 radical 2. And this is also 5 
radical 2. Now, this is our target. We're trying to figure out what x is. So now that we, now we've got a the hypotenuse of this triangle. So let's focus our eyes on that now. Um, in fact, now that I've got this, maybe I'll erase this other stuff just to, so it won't be distracting to you. In fact, I think I'll even cover up this whole triangle over here so you'll just focus on the one that matters. Okay, now remember how a 45-45 triangle works. Um, the legs in our pattern, we call them x. So this would be x, x, and then x radical 2 right well instead of x radical 2 we have 5 radical 2 so obviously x is 5 so in other words this must be 5 um, if this were 5 then I'd have 5 5 5 radical 2 alright so clearly this x must be 5 so I, I can do 5 5 5 radical 2 so x is 5, and that's the answer to problem number 1. Okay, let's move on to problem number 2. Okay, another 45, 45, 90 triangle. So here we go. If this is 7, all right, that's a leg, then this must be also 7. All right, so it must be 7, 7, and then 7, radical 2. Okay, now if I uh, cover this up for a second, all right, just cover up this bottom triangle, then uh, remember what I have here is uh, another 45, 45, 90 triangle. Now these are the legs. The legs must be the same. So um, if this is 7 radical 2, then this must be 7 radical 2. And this the hypotenuse must be 7 radical 2 radical 2 okay can you see that maybe I'll let me change colors for a second okay do you see the way this works um, you know because if this were a 5 then this would be 5 and then this would be 5 radical 2 right it'd be 5 5 5 radical 2 or 6 6 6 radical 2 but in this case, I've got this more complex expression, but it still works the same way. 7 radical 2, 7 radical 2, 7 radical 2, radical 2. Okay, and now if you can understand that, then you're home free. Um, now we know that uh, multiplying a radical by itself just gives you the number out. Okay, so radical 2 times radical 2 is just 2. Bring down that 7, so I've got 7 times 2. So that's 14. So that's it. This side must be 14. X is 14. All right, that's it for problem number two. Let's hunt down problem number three. You ain't so bad, problem number three. Um, so again with the 45, 45, 90 triangle. So if this is nine, then this is nine and this must be 9 radical 2. That's how it works. Leg, leg, and the hypotenuse is leg radical 2. Okay? Now, focus on the lower triangle. Um, looking at this triangle down here, now this is the leg. Do, it. do I need to cover it up so you can see it better? Do I have to do it? Alright, hopefully when you get more comfortable with this, you can just use your imagination. Uh, but uh, let me cover things up for now to help you out. So looking at this triangle, all right, then this x is the hypotenuse, okay? So um, the way it works is uh, the legs are the same. So I've got 9 radical 2 and 9 radical 2 are the legs, okay? And this should be 9 radical 2 radical 2, just like the previous problem, all right? Because, again, if this was... A 7, it'd be 7, 7, 7 radical 2. So it's the same thing. 9 radical 2, 9 radical 2, 9 radical 2, radical 2. Um, but once again, radical 2 times radical 2 is 2. Bring down the 9. 9 times 2 is 18. Okay, so x equals 18.
All right, so that's the answer number three. All right, how about number four? Okay, focusing on this triangle up here, the way the pattern works is, and again, I'm going to use N instead of X. Uh, since I already have an X, I don't want to confuse matters. Um, so it's like this. It goes N, N, and then this would be like N radical 2. All right, that's how it works. So I've got the 9 here, so that means 9 must equal n radical 2. So I will solve this by dividing both sides by, n, by uh, radical 2. Okay, if I do that, okay, so like 9 divided by radical 2. Okay, and this is going to be 9 radical 2 over 2, right, because I've seen this enough times. So this is going to be 9 radical 2 over 2. So that's what n is. OK, so n is 9 radical 2 over 2. OK, now that's n represents these legs right here. You understand? So, um, so let me put that where it goes. So that means uh, this over here is 9 radical 2 over 2. All right, and that means this down here is 9 radical 2 over 2. All right, that's what's happening. So now we need to find x, though. Okay, now x is actually the in the right position because we, we go, okay, this is x, x, and this is x radical 2. All right, x is actually where it belongs. So x, x, x radical 2. All right, now you should be able to do this in your head because you see this 9 radical 2 over 2. All right, if, if, um, if I rewrite this slightly, all right, see how this is written, 9 radical 2 over 2. But can't you see that this is the same thing as 9 over 2 radical 2? Okay, it's the same thing. Okay, so if you look at it that way, um, if I look at, let me rewrite it that way, right here as well. So this is really like 9 over 2 radical 2, and that's supposed to equal x radical 2. Well, look, that means x must be 9 over 2. You see what I'm saying? 9 over 2 radical 2, x radical 2. Um, or you can think of it, it as division, all right? If I, if I take this little equation and write it down here, I have 9 over 2 radical 2 equals x radical 2, all right? If you need to think of it as division, go ahead. You could think of it as dividing both sides by radical 2, okay? So that tells you that x equals 9 over 2. Okay, and that is the answer to problem number four, uh, right? But it'll be better if you can just see it, uh, 9 over 2 radical 2, x radical 2, all right? x is the thing in front of radical 2. That's 9 over 2. So if you can just immediately go straight to x equals 9 over 2, that's even better. Okay. All right, I think that's enough for one combo video. I have 16 problems to do, so I think I'll do four problems per video. So I'll see you on the next video.